राजगैयम पवित्रम इदम उत्तम राजविद्या राजगैयम पवित्रम इदम उत्तम प्रत्यक्ष अवगम धर्म सुसुखम कर्म अभयम प्रत्यक्षावगम धर्म सुसुखम कर्म अभयम राजविद्याजगैम पवित्रमुतम प्रत्यक्षावगम धर्म सुसुखम कर्म अभयम सो दिस knowledge as we have begun yesterday that idam te hmm idam tu te goye tamam parokshami asuyabe gyanam vigyana sahitam jajgatya moksha se asuva very important chapter the most confidential knowledge Guiyatamam, and it is spoken by Krishna, the supreme personality of God. Even those who are diverted from this material contamination, uh, they are called mukta jiva, liberated soul. And there are nitta mukta, nitta mukta, and nitta vadha. Nitta means eternal, and mukta means liberated. And again, nitta, eternally, vadha, condition. So. Just like there are many persons in this state who have never seen what is the prison life, and there are many persons in this state. The majority of one's life is passed in the prison. Similarly, there are two nature, material nature. And the spiritual nature. What we are seeing, this nature, this universe, within the material nature. Uh, similarly, there is another spiritual nature that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Parastasmatu bhava anya bhaktiya bhaktiya sanatana. There is another nature. You cannot deny it. Where God's kingdom, creation, how far it is, and how widespread it is, by your imagination you cannot determine the so-called advancement of scientific knowledge is useless in the estimation of the. Total creation. Uh, this creation, material creation, is uh, one fourth exhibition of the total creation, and the three fourth exhibition of the total creation is the spiritual world. So there are also, like here, we have got. So many planets, and each planet is full of living entities. As this planet is full of living entities, similarly, uh, in other planets, upper, middle, down, there are millions, millions of different types of living entities. Uh, it is a false statement that only on this planet. There is living entities. 
in other planets there are no there is nonsense here. Uh, there are living entities exactly like these. Uh, maybe the climate, the situation little different, just like uh, your climate, India climate, even on this planet there are different climatic situations, European, American, Australian, Asian. So that is God, uh, yeah, God's varieties are creation. So we have to take knowledge from the perfect person. Uh, so what is the uh, difference between this material world and the spiritual world? In the material world we are conditioned, and in the spiritual world we are liberated. This is the difference. Uh, in material, what is conditioned life? Conditioned life means uh, subjected to the rules and regulation of the material nature. That is conditioned life. Uh, just like we have got this body, this is also a condition of the material nature. Uh, we have got different types of bodies. Why? Because we are conditioned. Uh, according to our karma, we have got different types of body, eight million four hundred thousands of bodies. So uh, liberated life means not to uh, go under the condition of this material nature. That is liberated life. In the conditions life there are four defects. Uh, out of many other conditions, so far our knowledge is concerned, that is defect. Why? Because we commit mistake. Every one of us, we commit mistake. We are illusion. Our senses are imperfect. And we have a tendency to cheat. This is four defects of conditioned life. But the liberated life, they have no such uh, conditions. Uh, and another condition is you have to live on the threefold miseries. Uh, that miserable conditions pertaining to the body and mind. Even if you are opulent externally, if you are sick, if your mind is not in proper condition, you suffer. That is called adhatmik. And there are other miseries offered by other living entities. Just like some friend all of a sudden becomes your enemy uh, and he tries to inflict some injuries upon you. You are full of anxieties. Uh, this is called adhi bhoti. Even there is no enmity. There are so many living entities, uh, just like bugs, mosquitoes, and other animals. Uh, they are always prepared to give us trouble. This is called adhi bhoti, adhatmik adhi bhoti, and adhi doivik, uh, which is beyond every miserable condition is beyond your control. Uh, but especially adhi doivik. Uh, famine, pestilence, overflow, no rain, scarcity, this is called adhidaivi. So this is called conditioned life. Uh, so if you have got perfect knowledge that is described here, that jnanam vijnana saitam, if you have got perfect knowledge, then the result will be yajgyatta. If you possess that perfect knowledge, then moksha se asubha. These conditions we don't want. Uh, that is the real fact. We don't want any miserable condition due to my mind, due to my boy, body, or due to other living entities, or natural disturbances, uh, birth, death, old age, disease. We don't want. Uh, these are inauspicities of life. 
But if you have got perfect knowledge, then Krishna says that you become liberated from all these inauspicities. That is the subject matter of this chapter. Therefore, Krishna says that this knowledge is rajavidya. Uh, we have got different departments of knowledge, uh, university and institutes, uh, um, but uh, nowhere this subject matter is discussed, or there is any department. Uh, there are, uh, suppose, medical department. What is the medical department? To give us relief from disease condition. But there is no department which discusses how to become free from all diseases. That is no department. There is no such department. There is department how to give you relief from disease. There is department how to manufacture um, the very effective medicines. But there is no department where knowledge is given the no more disease. Is there any department? Uh, therefore, this knowledge which is given by Krishna. It is called Rajavidya. Rajavidya means the king of knowledge. If you learn this knowledge, then you become completely free from the conditioned stage of this material world. Uh, that's what it is called Raja. Raja means king, and Vidya means knowledge. Rajavidya, Rajaguyam. And at the same time, it is the most confidential knowledge. Guyam. Guyatamam, uh, very confidential. It is not disclosed to ordinary man. Uh, this knowledge is not meant for. Suppose we are discussing this knowledge, and when we say, by understanding this knowledge, there is no more birth, death, old age, and disease. Uh, ordinary person uh, with less uh, brain substance, they will laugh. They will say, hey, how is this possible? Uh, therefore, it is very confidential. It is not open to everyone. Uh, it is meant for selected person. If I say that I shall give you relief from birth, death, old age, and disease, you will not be David. Uh, therefore, it is raya guyam. Goyam is very, very confidential. Rajavidya, Rajagoyam, Pavitram. Pavitram means very pure, because unless we are purified, uh, we cannot be free from these four miserable conditions, especially, namely uh, birth, death, old age, and disease. Uh, birth, death, old age is meant for this body. And the body is obtained by the spirit soul. The spirit soul is pure. There is no doubt about it, because it is part and parcel of Krishna or God. So God is pure. Uh, just like gold is gold, and the fragments of gold is also gold. The same quality, but the fragments of gold sometimes becomes mixed up with dirty things. So we are in the same condition, becoming fragments of God. We are sometimes put into this material world and we are materially contaminated. So this knowledge, Rajavidya, most confidential. If we can learn it, then we become pure, completely pure. Pavitram is a uttamam. Uttamam. Ut means udgata, transcendental. And tama means this material world, darkness. In the material world, the nature is darkness, just like at night. 
It is darkness. This is the nature of this material world. But it is, there is illumination on account of the sun. Uh, Lord God has created the sun to give us light. Sometimes we have heard that on, on account of absence of the sun sign, they commit suicide uh, in Switzerland, uh, where? Scandinavia. Scandinavia, they say. Uh, so the darkness is very, very disgusting. Uh, but this material world is dark to give us little relief. Krishna, God has given us the sun. Uh, the day before yesterday, I think, uh, yesterday, uh, in the morning, we saw while coming on the plane how the sun was coming through the sea nicely. Within a second, the whole light came. So this is God's arrangement. Uh, the don't think that this arrangement, exactly in the time, six o'clock in the morning, Immediately, the sun comes out of the sea and gives you light. Because this material world is dark. So in order to give you relief, otherwise you will commit suicide. God is so kind. He is giving you light. So Uttama, so if we can go back to home, back to Godhead, there is no darkness. It is all illuminated. Uh, it is stated in the Shastra that there is no need of sun, there is no need of moon, there is no najatra bhāsati sūrja na sasāṅka na pāvaka. In the spiritual world there is no need of sun, there is no need of moon, there is no need of electricity or power. That is the description. Here in the Bhagavad Gita is why. Na jatra bhāsati sūrja na sasāṅka na pāvaka. We cannot imagine how without sun, without moon, without electricity, without fire, we can, one can live. Uh, yes, but there is a world like that. You do not require sunshine, you do not require, they are all illuminated. So that is uttama. Udgata tama jasmat, the Sanskrit word, uh, from which the darkness is completely eradicated. Uh, there's another Bengali verse. Krishna Shuddha Sama Maya Andhaka Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Odhika. The meaning is that this like Krishna is just like sun. And maya, illusion, is just like darkness. So as, as the sun being present, there is no access of darkness. Similarly, if you keep Krishna always within your heart, there is no more darkness of this material world. Krishna suddha sama maya andhaka jaha krishna tahan. The example is given. If you keep yourself always, Krishna within your heart. Krishna is within your heart. It is not that you have to create a Krishna or God or you have to call. He is there. But due to darkness we cannot see Him. But by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, Chetadatmana Marjanam, by cleaning the core of our heart, you will be able to see Krishna within yourself. God. The instruction is how he can come back, go back to home, back to Godhead. Moksha or Subha, being free from all inauspicity. That stage can be attained. How? Tesam satadu yuktanang bhajatang if you engage yourself always in his service, satata yuktana, satata means always, always engage in his service, bhajatāṁ priti purva, and worshipping the Lord 
with uh, preeti, love, preeti, bhajatāna preeti pūrvakam. Uh, so this is, uh, edu- this is being instructed to the students who have entered this institute how to worship the deity. The deity worship is there just to give chance to the devotee, satatam, satatajuktāna, all is engaged in Krishna's service. From early morning, up past three, four, up to night, ten, they are engaged. That is called sadhatu Dhyutkāna. Only a few hours given to them for taking rest, because after all we have got this material body. It requires little rest. Otherwise there is no question of resting. Uh, Twenty-four hours engaged in the service of Krishna. So that is possible as you become an uh, Just like the six Goswamis, they attained that state. They were not sleeping at night, uh, giving service. It is said, nāna sāsa vichāra naika nipuno saddharma saṅsthāpako lokāna hitakārino nidyāhāra vijīta. This is spiritual life. The more you conquer over the necessities of this body, the our necessities, the created necessities, they are necessities of the body. The body requires to eat. The body requires rest. The body requires sex. The body requires defense. But the soul does not require. Uh, so more you become advanced in spiritual consciousness, the material necessities become uh, minimum. Nidyahara bihara kādi vijito. That is possible. Uh, that is not story. There are many instances. And the more you become advanced in Krishna consciousness, spiritual life, these necessities of life, this is a body. Because body <coughs> is dependent from the spirit soul. The necessities of the body uh, is material. Uh, and the necessities of the soul is spiritual. Uh, but unfortunately, although the spirit is there, uh, we are so much absorbed in material consciousness we do not understand what is spirit soul. We are simply busy in taking care of the body. Uh, so this is not very good condition. This is material condition, and it is very risky if we simply, uh, simply to take uh, care of the body means creating different desires. I shall be happy in this way. I shall be happy in this way. So nature's uh, uh, mercy is that as soon as you think that you will enjoy life like this, he will give, she will give you a good opportunity. That means uh, changing a body wherein you can enjoy the material facilities very easily. Uh, I have several times uh, given an example There are different types of bodies, Uh, animals, birds, bees, demigods, human beings, many varieties of life, eight million, four hundred thousand, higher life, lower life. Uh, Those who are associating with the base qualities of material nature, they get lower life. That is natural. It's like you contaminate a kind of disease, eat it become manifest in due course of time. But this is going on. But if we understand this knowledge, as Krishna is speaking, rāja-vidyā rāja-vīyam pavitrāṁ idam uktamā, then uh, pratyaksam avagavam dharma. Uh, dharma, uh, one meaning of dharma is the basic principle of our life. Uh, or the occupational duty of our life, dharma. Uh, 
occupational duty of our life. That is called dharma. Generally in English, dharma is translated by the word religion, a kind of faith. But actually dharma means the uh, characteristic. That is the real meaning of dharma. Characteristic. That's say you can understand by the characteristic in the chemical laboratory, the test uh, defines chemical. So the heading is characteristic. This chemical looking such and such color, the granules are like this, the taste is like this, uh, the reaction is like this. If you put with this, it will react like this. So many. If certain chemical uh, comply with all the characteristics, then it is declared pure. Uh, so suppose what is the characteristic of sugar? Everyone knows uh, it must be sweet. Uh, if sugar and salt, both of them uh, externally seem the same, white. But you have to understand which is sugar and which is salt by tasting. Uh, so there are different tastes of fat facing. If sugar becomes salty, you say, oh, it is not sugar. And if salt becomes sweet, you throw it. Similarly, dharma means everything has got a special character. That is called dharma. So what is our dharma? Living entities. We are living entities. We may be in different forms. It doesn't matter. Eight million four hundred thousands of forms. But what is the actual business? The actual business is that every one of us giving service to others. This is all. That is enunciated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jiver Sarup Hoy Nitya Krishna Das. This is the characteristic of living entity. Living entity is meant for giving service to Krishna. This is the characteristic. When this characteristic is not found or lacking, that means it is disease condition, or that is material condition. Uh, just like this finger. What is the characteristic of finger? Uh, the finger characteristic, it is a part and parcel of my body. As soon as I say, uh, my dear servant's finger, please capture this immediately. Immediately. Uh, my dear servant's finger, come on the head and give me some itching. Yes. <laughs> this is characteristic. <laughs> the finger, I order, please pick up this rasgulla. Yes. yes. Give it here. Yes. <laughs> the finger cannot eat. Just try to understand. The finger, if he gets on rasgulla, nice, tasteful, sweet meat, the finger will never try to smash it and spoil it. <laughs> the fingers immediately will tear, he will find the psychology, even from a child, the child captures with the finger some nice sweet meat and immediately puts it. Why? Uh, the child could smash it and taste this also. That is not possible. We study nature. Uh, you take the very nice sweet, but you cannot, the fingers cannot spoil it. Uh, the process is that by nature the child knows that if I put into the mouth, it goes to the stomach, and if it is digested, these fingers will be uh, healthy, the eyes will be healthy, the leg will be healthy, hands will be healthy, every all parts of the body will be. Healthy. This is natural. Just like another example is given. Jathatarur mula nise chanena, tippanti tasukandu bhujopasakha. 
Just like tree, if you tree plant anything, you pour water in the root, uh, it goes, trans, transfer to the branches, to the twigs, to the leaves, to the flower. Uh, everyone, if you put water. Jathatarun mola nisi chanena tippanti stachkanda bhujopa sakha pranopaharacha jathendriyana. And by giving food to the stomach, that all the different parts of the body, limbs and senses, they become healthy. Similarly, sarvahanam uh, achyutejya, if you worship Krishna, achyuta, then the whole world will be satisfied. Because he is the root. It is said in the Bhagavad Gita, aham. Uh, Sarva saprabhava matta sarvam pravattate iti matya bhajante man buddha bhava samanika. One who understands, this is Rajavidya. He must know how to work. We are manufacturing so many ways of happy life. This ism, that ism, that plan, that plan, so many plans. We are seeing suggestions, so many suggestions in the television. Uh, this is the problem, this is suggestion, this is problem. Full of new, new problem, new, new suggestion. <coughs> but because we are lacking this Rāja-vidya, the king of knowledge, uh, we are perplexed. Uh, but if you know that Krishna is the root cause of everything, and if we serve Krishna, then every problem will be solved immediately. This is called Rajavidya. Uh, Rajavidya, uh, Rajaguyam, and uh, Pratakha Bhagavan Dharma. Just like I have given the example that the uh, different parts of the body they are suffering from different diseases. But if you make uh, good treatment, if you take the proper medicine and put it in the stomach, then immediately you will understand, yes, I am getting relief. Or suppose you are hungry, uh, you are, on account of your uh, hunger, you are feeling headache, you cannot see through your eyes properly, you cannot hear, you cannot walk, uh, so many things, problems will arise. But as soon as you put some food stuff, nourishing food stuff, immediately you will feel strength and you will happy, happy. That is called pratyaksha. Pratyaksha means direct. Abhagavam, dharmam. If you are hungry and if you are given very nice, nutritious, palatable food, you haven't got to take any certificate from others. You will understand yourself. Yes, I am now feeling strength. I am now feeling energy. That is called pratyakham abhagavam dharma. Similarly, if you take to Krishna consciousness, that is the process, then you will feel uh, automatically how you are satisfied. Pratyakham abhagavam dharma. These boys, these American, European, they are always turned. Uh, country, belong to this country. Why they are sticking to this Krishna consciousness? Because they are feeling directly happiness. There is no doubt about it. Ask any of them. This is pratyakham avagavam dharma. And susukham, to execute this dharma, this transaction, it is very, very happy. Don't you see? What is their business? They are not going to the factories to work twelve hours. Uh, they are simply chanting and dancing. This is their business. And when they are hungry, they are taking very nutritious prasad. This is called susukham. Very happy. Uh, they haven't got to work in the factory, in the mine, in the sea for extracting oil or coal. They haven't got. We have no such business. Uh, we are simply engaged in chanting, dancing, and eating Krishna prasad. 
susukam pratakam avagama practically you can perceive and how happy it is you can perceive kottung eh? abhayam to execute this business of Krishna consciousness is so easy and happy and whatever you do a little it is a permanent asset it will never be spoiled ah. you find in the bhagavad gita that suchinang simatange he yoga bhrashta sanyati this is called bhakti yoga uh, suppose somebody is enjoying but maya is very strong if he falls down he could not execute the krishna consciousness uh, program completely in this life uh, mostly if we simply stick well, there is no difficulty but he voluntarily we give up there is another thing uh, what is the wrong there chant dance and take prasad you haven't got to work uh, you haven't got to go to the uh, field work uh, or to the factory uh, still if you don't accept it you fall down so that is your choice but even if you fall down because for a few days you join krishna consciousness movement your the result and actions for so much time is permanent asset permanent asset uh, what is that permanent asset that that is stated in the bhagavad gita that suchidan simatan gehe joga bhrashta sanyat those who are fallen from this krishna consciousness their next life is guaranteed a human life uh, because others there is no guarantee tatha dehantara prati according to one's karma he can get the body of a dog cat hog or demiga there is no guarantee that krishna says tatha dehantara prati antara means another he does not say that this body he will get uh, but if one is krishna's devotee then there is guarantee uh, what is that guarantee suchinang simatange he will take birth in a very rich family or in a very nice brahman and vaishnavs family uh, if he gets a vaishnav birth in a vaishnav family just like uh, we have got so many children Uh, among our grihastha devotees, uh, how fine they are! They are getting Krishna consciousness from the beginning of their life. That means in the past they advanced in Krishna consciousness. Somehow or other they failed to complete. Now they have got again chance, again in the temple, dancing and chanting from the very beginning of life. So this is the opportunity. Uh, so this knowledge. राजविद्याजगम प्रत्यक्षम अवगम सुसुखम कर्तुम अभयम अभय मीन्स इन ऑर्डिनरी फ्रीटिव एक्टिविटीज व्हाट एवर यू डू सपोज बाय कर्म बाय मेटीरियल एक्टिविटीज फ्रीटिव एक्टिविटीज बिकम वेरी रिच मैन और वेरी लर्नेड मैन वेरी गुड ऑफिस बस एवरीथिंग विल बी फिनिश्ड विथ योर डेथ As soon as the body is finished, all your asset finished. Uh, but if you become a devotee, your body may be finished, but the soul is eternal. The soul will carry your assets of Krishna consciousness, and uh, nature will give you another chance of taking birth in a very rich family or in a Vaishnav family. To get birth in a Vaishnav family. is greater asset uh, than to take birth in this family this family means there is no economic problem but on account of richness one may fall down but if one takes birth in a vaishnav family there is no more fall down he makes progress farther and farther in this way he is allowed again go back to home.